Brandon. Yeah. You're a student of a master student economics. Bachelor student. Bachelor student. Earth and economics. Earth yes. and economics. What does this uh, study program contain? Well, it's a new course designed from the faculty of earth sciences, but it's in cooperation with the faculty of economics and business, and it's actually a uh, interdisciplinary course uh, built to to integrate the earth science and economics because nowadays in the, the current uh, society there's only knowledge of one topic people have knowledge of earth sciences or people have knowledge of economics and they just can't talk with each other so we designed a new course on earth economics to integrate the knowledge available and solve practical problems like the energy problem climate change that all are problems that need need interdisciplinary knowledge right can you tell me something about the use of geo-information and geo-ICT in these uh, global challenges you just addressed? Um, yeah, geo-information is a very new and, and I think developing, still developing uh, field of science which can be very important uh, nowadays already and also in the future because we have uh, great databases with, for example, information about land use for every single spot on the earth we can analyze changes uh, that can be very important. For example, in climate change, when you look at, uh, at land use change, let, uh, let's keep the example of land use change, we can, uh, we can monitor the uh, changes in, for example, forested areas. And if we calculate the, uh, the de decrease in forested areas or the increase, we can calculate how much the CO2 emissions will uh, increase or decrease. And that's important in climate change. And you told me you're involved in a very interesting research uh, topic at the moment. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I'm working on a European project that's uh, looking at the, uh, the German land use change in the period 1990 to 2000. Because uh, the German wall fell in uh, 1988, I thought, or 89. And after that, we'll, we'll analyze uh, if West and East Germany have uh, evolved differently in terms of land use change. Because it is, uh, well, it's very much likely that they evolved in a quite different manner. East Germany was a communist country and West Germany was a Western, still is a Western country. So we expect them to somehow converge in the same direction and East Germany will pick up with West Germany because it's, it was very much falling behind in the and we use uh, geo-information to see if it actually happens. If, uh, if urbanization, for example, if the East German cities expand more rapidly than the, uh, than the West German cities and that they converge in such a manner. And uh, yeah, that's what we're investigating. We don't, don't know yet what, you know, what the results will be, but it's very interesting. Keep us posted. Yeah, sure.